Quiet on the set. I'm the only one here. Hey everyone, Gregory Douglas, the Creative Advisor here. Creative advice for working musicians to fast track their careers. Welcome to another how-to episode. So this is a follow-up to my previous article, Seven Ways to Get More Fans to Shows. Well, I just thought of seven more great promo tactics to help with your draw at every gig you book. Cause I'm a genius. Again, promoters put a lot of pressure on artists and bands to pack the house at their venues for one very important reason. It's their job to run a successful business. So if you can't draw a crowd to their venue, they can't sustain their business. It's nothing personal, so again, check your ego at the door. Some venue promoters even require a 50 person minimum just to get a booking these days. So here are seven more promotional power tips that will help you get more fans to shows. I'm still talking 50 plus fans here. Number one, make it a special event. Turn an ordinary booking into something extra special and invite another artist or band to join you on stage for the night. Perhaps they could open for you or back you up during your performance. The more the merrier really because it will increase chances of getting more people in the audience by extending your reach to other musicians, fans, friends, and family. Get creative. Invite, say, a children's choir to join you on stage for a song or two. Do you know how many proud parents would be in the audience for a show like that? A few. Number two. Alert the media. Don't forget about local press. While the web might still be throwing all the heavyweight newspapers and magazines under the bus, folks are still paying attention to calendar listings and local news. Figure out what the local papers and alternative weeklies are in the surrounding area where you're scheduled to perform, and alert the folks in charge of calendar listings with a press release email. If you have something special to report about, like an album release show or special guests, it's worth contacting someone in the arts and entertainment editorial department with a press release specific to your story, but be sure to include your performance details as well. Check out altweeklies.com for a comprehensive list of alternative weekly publications in the US. There's also a great media alert tool available from membersofartistdata.com. Number three, guest list VIPs. I'm sure there are plenty of very important people in your corner. So send personal invitations to some of the special people in your life and offer to guest list them at your show. You can guest list influential people in the community, supporters, allies, and select family, friends, and fans. You can also target local media contacts and offer free media passes for your show, which might even result in additional coverage after the show in the form of a review. Well, I'll be damned. Number four, purchase 50 tickets in advance. The best way to guarantee a promoter that you'll draw at least 50 people to your show is to purchase 50 tickets in advance. This may feel like risky business to your gut and your wallet, but think of it as an investment and set aside a contingency fund that you can tap into for miscellaneous purposes like this. The goal, of course, will be to pedal and promote those tickets the best you can to recoup the costs and pack the house for your show. And the unlikely chance that you aren't able to offload all 50 tickets, you can always do some promotional giveaways for the remaining tickets. Regardless of how many tickets you sell, you've kept your promise to the promoter and will likely be offered more chances in the future to build your following in the area. This method will help build your confidence as you prove to yourself how quickly you can offload those tickets and make a return on your investment. Number five, get sponsored. Seek out a local business or organization that you would be proud to associate with and ask them to consider sponsoring your show. Sponsorships can come in many different forms, so get creative. Start with proposing an offer to promote the business or organization's logo on every promotional campaign you have, like posters, online banners and photos, and in email campaigns in exchange for promotional support. Propose that they promote your show on their website and in their ongoing e-newsletters in exchange. You could also target sponsorship money in lieu of promotional support, and instead ask for the amount that it would cost you to meet your 50 ticket investment, so you don't suffer a loss on any prepaid tickets that you're not able to offload yourself. But you totally will, cause you're a rock star. Number six, increase your goal of 50 to 100. When you aim higher, you produce greater results. If you target 50 people to be in the audience for your show, chances are you will reach your goal or come close to it. It's really mind over matter, so why not aim for 100? If the same rules apply, you'll again either reach your goal or come close to it. Before you know it, your venue promoter will be hunting you down to play at his club again. Number seven is to put on a stellar show. If you read the first article, Seven Ways to Get More Fans to Shows, then you know I'm repeating this one. 
simply because this is the most important one, so I'm saving the best for last again. If you are consistently putting on an irresistible show that people just cannot get enough of, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's leverage in itself to draw a great crowd. Try playing each show like it's your last, seriously. And give 100% to every one of your performances, no matter what. Regardless of how large or small of an audience you're performing to, you will only be remembered by the quality of your performance. As always, the real action is at thecreativeadvisor.com. What other ways do you pack the house at your shows? Click on over there right now, leave a comment, and let us know. If you like what I'm serving up here, please subscribe and share it loud with your people. I know, I know, I know, I know you got some people. Want more power tips like this to help fast track your career? <laughs> yeah. Sign up for email updates at thecreativeadvisor.com for more free training and creative incentives. I only share through email because I'm stealth. Never underestimate what you're capable of as a creative person. Believe it or not, the world needs your creativity as much as you need to create. So rock on with your bad self, and here's to your creative genius. Indie Music School is coming up. Want to step up your music career? For more info and free training, go to thecreativeadvisor.com forward slash Indie Music School. for working musicians to fast it. Great promo tactic. Never underestimate anything. <laughs>